right, so we're gonna go into a depth conversation about football and rally cars. All right, now that most of the girls have left the room, let's talk about something a little bit more serious like libido and the loss of it in the generation of 35 year old plus males. Anybody from the age of 35 upwards, definitely you start to come into the, to the danger zone, especially in the 40s. Any man that has a sedentary job where they're sitting down and not doing a lot, so office workers, things like that. Any man that's seeing that they're putting on a little bit of um, uh, spare tire around their waist, definitely. And men know when they've lost their libido. They know those are the guys that need to come in and do this. Uh, speaking from personal experience, uh, my time as a medic, sitting down a lot, not being very active, putting on weight, eating crappy food, not lifting heavy weights, my libido started to drop. Uh, and it was a downward spiral. I wasn't making any testosterone. I found myself getting a little bit flabby. Um, and it does have a significant effect on depression and how you view yourself and you don't feel like you're living up to what you're meant to be doing. And that can be quite upsetting for a lot of men. So one of the main reasons we wanna discuss libido is because it's not talked about enough, but it's one of the biggest uh, contributors to depression for men. And this is a big problem with an easy solution. And unfortunately in today's day and age with our sedentary lifestyles, our crappy food, and the fact that we're just getting exposed to genetically modified foods and um, hormone injected foods, men's testosterone is starting to drop. The downward spiral of that, they stop putting on muscle mass, they gain fat, and then they lose their libido. So, three easy ways of fixing libido. One, lift heavy weights. Come in and do some resistance training, get that muscle stimulus. Two, eat healthy, clean foods, including fats, monounsaturated and saturated from meats. And three, and easily an overlooked aspect, sleep. Good quality sleep for hormone production. You're not a hero if you're living off four or five hours sleep, all right? It's very, very important for hormone production. Those three things will start your course on fixing your libido. The more men lift heavy weights in the gym, the more they burn for 36 hours afterwards, and in that burning, they're burning up their fat stores to help recreate that muscle mass. And that is why CrossFit and weightlifting and high intensity interval training is so paramount for males, especially 35 years and plus, on keeping that testosterone going up and, and sort of subduing the estrogen levels and definitely the cortisone. We don't want any of that. So as one of the trainers here, I've had quite a few clients come up to me and tell me about some of the benefits that they've had of doing CrossFit. Um, a couple of them being that they're sleeping a lot better, they're a lot more active, some of their knee pain and, and general aches and pains have gone. And one thing that I hear a lot from guys is that their love life has gotten a lot better. And that's a very unappreciated fact when it comes to one of the benefits of doing resistance training and, and CrossFit.